Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Tuesday, November the 16th, 2021, Tuesday of the 33rd uh, week of the year. Uh, coming to you uh, still from Silver Spring, Maryland, uh, now showing you the interior of the courtyard of what is Holy Name College. This is the um, postulate house uh, for the province of Holy Name uh, here in Silver Spring, Maryland. It was the house of um, higher, it was the house of studies uh, for uh, people who uh, had left novitiate um, the, after the second year and had gone into studies for theology. Uh, this is where I spent most of my time uh, as a friar, as a student friar uh, here at Holy Name College. So you can see the um, courtyard um, as it is. Um, there's uh, Rosa Mystica, uh, Blessed Mother, um, as the mystical rose. Um, it's an, a bronze statue that was uh, very old because this is the second Holy Name uh, College. There was first Holy Name College that was closer to Catholic University uh, down in DC itself, um, and then we left there in the 80s um, and built uh, this Holy Name College. Uh, so um, this is where it is. So uh, anyway, today is um, uh, today is Tuesday of the third week of the year, and uh, our readings uh, continue with Maccabees. Um, continuing uh, this time, uh, we are introduced to Eleazar, uh, one of the senior scribes, uh, who uh, will not give in to the uh, demands of the uh, of the Greek king and the Greek people uh, that he eat pork, uh, so that uh, both he can defile himself and, and again, they can um, defile Judaism. And so uh, Eleazar uh, dis dis will not uh, eat uh, what he's not supposed to eat and even pretend uh, to eat what he's not supposed to eat. Um, and so uh, Eleazar's staunch um, defiance of the rules of the king of, uh, and, and, of, uh, and, and of not giving in to what it is that the, uh, that, that the Greeks want him to do uh, earns him uh, punishment, earns him death, um, and that kind of martyrdom. Uh, which becomes a sign and a symbol uh, for other young men, because uh, Eleazar is in his 90s, it says, um, for other young men to begin to uh, make a stand um, against the Greek oppression um, and the Greeks who are trying to um, destroy Judaism, destroy the fabric of Judaism uh, by, um, by defiling uh, the practices and the traditions, uh, as well as the temple. Um, it is an interesting, again, it's an, it's an interesting turn. Again, Maccabees continues to get darker and sadder and more tragic as we go through it. Uh, but it, again, does God want this? Does God want people to suffer? Does God want people to die? It's, it's again, it's always a larger question that's there. But for Eleazar, um, his adherence to what it is that God has asked him and his people to do um, is more important than his life itself. Um, we are still also looking at uh, an understanding of Judaism that does not embrace a life after death. Um, and so this life is all that there is. Um, and so for Eleazar uh, to stand firm in this life that God has given him um, and not to defile it uh, by giving into the practices of those who want to destroy Judaism, uh, again, is a great sign of not only courage, but it's a great sign of fidelity uh, to what it is that God has commanded him to do. Um, in Luke's gospel, uh, we hear, again, another individual who seems to have defiled Judaism, Zacchaeus, the tax collector. Uh, again, somebody who gained his uh, fortune and fame by uh, squeezing more money out of his brothers and sister Jews than he needed to, to in order to pay the Romans. And so, uh, in the Roman taxes. Um, Zacchaeus is, uh, is, is reviled, is hated by all of his Jew, Jewish brothers and sisters, and yet uh, Jesus comes to him, and not only comes to him, but says that he wants to dine at his house. He wants to enter into his life, which is what God asks all of us to do, is to enter into our lives. Um, and Zacchaeus welcomes that somehow, some way, uh, not being afraid, not being um, uh, uh, cautious, uh, but welcomes Jesus into his house, and because of the dinner that they have together, Zacchaeus's life is transformed forever. Um, does he do a confession of sins? Does he make some kind of penance? Um, it, it never ever is said, but through dining with Jesus, life is changed for this man. Again, as we deal with questions about Eucharist and who Eucharist is for, the example of Zacchaeus should point us to the truth of it, which is that uh, sharing in Eucharist is an object of transformation. We do not have to be transformed to share um, in Eucharist, to share in dining with Jesus. It is the dining with Jesus that changes everything, and that's what causes is a chaos uh, to have this change of heart that makes him give back, you know, tenfold, a hundredfold, what it is that he's taken from people. Uh, Jesus never asks Zacchaeus to stop being a tax collector, but he asks Zacchaeus, what kind of tax collector are you going to be from now on? That is what Eucharist offers us, the chance to continue being who we are, but the kind of people now that we are supposed to be in light of the fact that we eat and drink with Jesus, that we eat and drink the Christ, that our lives are transformed because of this action. But Zacchaeus' model of fidelity to God um, is maintained and furthered in all that we say and all that we do. And may the Lord give you his peace.